Hello, welcome to The Trues. Today, Bill O'Reilly continues his war against common decency. Let's have a look. Now, Crowdhammer on his program uh, said, um, I guess about two weeks ago, that if you built a border fence like they did in uh, East Germany, all right? Well, I'm going to stop with there, Bill, because that wasn't a triumph of social engineering or even architecture. That wall became a symbol for all that was wrong with the world, uh, the epitome of the Cold War, a country riven into a symbol of conflict, dishonour, disdain and disintegration to the world. Surely Bill will say, let's never again repeat these horrors. Did you ever see the East German fence? I've, I've been through the East German okay. fence. Okay, all right. Of course, his guest is Karl Rove, one of the most mendacious human beings that God ever put breath into. Uh, Rove, one of the engineers of the Gulf conflict, a neoliberal puppeteer, uh, a man that constantly enforces the idea that all Muslims are evil and uh, a big supporter of the military industrial complex, meaning that like America continues to financially support big arms companies, weapons companies, perpetuate corporate interests over humanity. So let's see what these two bloody hell can come up between them. I was there and I was there for it coming down, the wall coming down in Berlin. I was actually there on the scene. Nobody could get through that fence. Bill, you're really learning the wrong lessons from life, aren't you? All right, nobody. It was a formidable obstacle. Bill fails to absorb the obvious, most obvious lessons of history. Berlin Wall was bad. What's happening in the conflict between Israel and Palestine is bad. These are bad things, Bill. Don't see what <laughs> tidbits of knowledge you can pick up and apply to America. And the Israelis have done the same thing to keep out terrorism there. So. We haven't done that on the southern border. One of the few credits the nation can claim. That's mistake number one. Mistake number two is, in this current flashpoint situation in a real Grand Valley, not far from where you live in Austin. With the alley where you live. You could put National Guard there to stop the madness, just as you stopped the madness in the Rodney King riots. Oh no, Bill, Bill, again, you're getting the wrong messages. I can stop the madness and the... Uh... Rodney King riots, that was mad. Why were people rioting? You see the bit at the beginning, Rodney King. There's that bit. There's a connection to the word riot and Rodney King. Okay, so let's talk for it. But what is it? But remember the police beat up Rodney King? Yeah, and then there was riots! Yeah, but the police beat up Rodney King on camera. Ah, the riots, the riots! Rodney King riots and Hurricane well, Katrina and all of those other things. Hurricane Katrina, oh, there were people, they were looting shops. Yeah, but uh, the, the, there was no uh, social infrastructure where millions of people were displaced. Ah, no, no, they were rioting! There is a dereliction of leadership here, and I believe it's political. I believe it's political. That Obama didn't do it, Bush the Elder didn't do it, Bush the Younger didn't do it, Clinton didn't do it, because they don't want to tee off a voting Yeah, well, look. Where might be, Bill? Is that, you know, like George W. Bush and Bush Senior, and in fact all of the people you're naming, they're not lacking in a willingness to enforce the will of corporate America and to impose draconian measures and to play out short sighted and negative policies. There was enough of that going on. There's wars left, right, and centre. The piecemeal welfare reform, generally speaking, the poor people are getting poorer and poorer and rich people are getting richer and richer. Instead of focusing on this, these immigrants, how about, do you know like General Electric, that's an American electricity giant, they made 108 billion in profit last year. They transferred their profit overseas so they don't have to pay tax on it. I'll just remind you what the word profit means. Once they've done all of their work, and all their electricity and that, paid everybody and given all of the executives their bonuses, they had 108 billion left. Just extra, <laughs> extraneous, they sucked out of other places and they had it. And then there's like, oh, we don't really want to pay any tax on that. Let's put it over the sea. Like, imagine if immigrants were stealing 108 billion and they had it. You'd want that back, wouldn't you? And it, immigrants are not living in the lap of luxury. They're not exploiting the planet. These are people that are suffering. These are refugees. These are people that are looking for a better life. So what I'm suggesting, Bill, and I know it's mad, instead of trying to study some of the worst atrocities in history, both world and American, perhaps instead look at the excessive corporate wealth and why don't you advocate them not paying taxes? Why not, Bill? Why not? Is it because Fox, who you work for, is a massive corporation and you are a conditioned citizen, conveying only a message 
of corporate hegemony and disempowerment of the people. America, land of the free. Bill, you're a disgrace to your flag. Nose is a tool that is abused to fool you and to leave you scared and confused. Trolls is like the nose. If the nose was true, I want some trolls. Let's have some trolls.